Well, as we wind up this whirlwind whippy dip adventure, one thing has become very clear. Visiting Tri-State soft serve spots could be a full time job, and I'm really sorry I didn't get to everybody, but everybody thinks their spot is the best. Everyone believes their stand is legendary. So with that in mind, our last stop is here in Bethel at legend. Wait for it. Dairy. We were driving by it and I was like, that looks like a good challenge. Um, we've never owned a business before. We just kind of jump into things. A legendary business needs a legendary origin story, and Mary Stetz has one. She and her husband, Glenn, were on their way home from the Ohio Valley Antique Machinery Show when they happened to spot an old ice cream stand for sale. And just like that, they became not just owners of what used to be a dairy aisle franchise in the 1950s and a slew of other things in the years since, but also part of a community. It's a combination of the symbiotic relationship between the community and us. We kind of have the same ideals of supporting the small businesses, supporting the teens, keeping things close knit. Um, they call me out on stuff when I mess up and I call them out on stuff when they mess up. So it, it works. It works because Mary says she's quirky and the town's quirky. That's where all the Bigfoot stuff comes from and the aliens and all the other quirky things. Ohio's got a large amount of sightings of Bigfoot when you really start diving into it. Has Bigfoot ever ordered anything? Um, actually, Bigfoot has. Bigfoot's been to pep rallies. Um, he's been handing out ice cream. You can every once in a while spot him and get your picture taken with him. But yeah, he does show up from time to time. And so, of course, there's a menu item named after our Sasquatch friend. It's literally a bucket of ice cream with every single topping and sauce in the building. Look at my Bigfoot! Look at him. He is a hairy beast. He is legend. Dairy. It's ice cream season, friends. Enjoy. So, when, when I tell you that it's everything, there were potato chips in that Sunday. <laughs> there were pretzels in that Sunday. Strawberries, yeah. pineapples, cheesecake, I brownies, cheesecake, cookie yeah. dough, chocolate sauce, peanut butter. Yeah. Like, and All you of said it. it's only fourteen dollars, which is a lot when you think of ice cream, but not for that giant that, bucket. Well, because you're, you, it'll take five of you to eat it. Right. I was gonna say it, it, that looked like much more than the three you guys could, yeah, could take on. It, it, it was, it was so much. Yeah, it was just so. Much. <laughs> but we had a blast. Mary was awesome, and she she really did talk a lot about the teens who work there and how much sort of ownership they take right. in, in being there and, and sort of serving that community That's and everything. Great. So it was super fun. I liked it. We were so full. I was gonna did, did you finish it? Um, was the bucket empty? It was there was a lot of moosh at the bottom okay. by the time we were done. Yeah. Of various uh, and sundry says, so things. It came surprisingly close. Yeah. Uh, to finish. Shockingly, okay. actually. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it is uh